Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have successfully initialized the our application, the calculator application in the package.json we have initialized. Now it's time for us to install the dependencies. Before installing the dependencies, so I will try to explain you one important concept that is nothing but karma. So what is this karma? Actually, karma is a test runner tool. So karma is used for it test runner for it is not a javascript framework or any testing framework it is a test runner tool so what is the test runner tool as the name itself implies that it will karma allows provides you a way to run your tests okay in an automated way so that is the main thing so normally how we will be running the test let's try to see it so let's try to see the implementation of this one so here i have created a normal slideshow i will try to explain you karma test runner so first of all, we will know how to run tests for a JavaScript application. So first of all, we will try to understand how to run the tests for a JavaScript application. So normally we will be having application code and the test code, right? So now in our JavaScript application, if you try to see our application, our code. So if you see here, so we will be having our application code is nothing but main.js, calculator.js. These are all our application code. Supportingly for this application code, you will be having the test code. So these two together combined we will be having an application so like this i am trying to explain you that normally we will have an application code and the test code for a javascript application okay and the next one what i can say is test all will be in the javascript so right now we are writing the test in the javascript so that means test everything will be in the javascript so how can we run the javascript so javascript code how can we run so there are two ways to run a javascript code so first one is one thing is first one method is we can run by adding the script in the HTML file and run it in the browser. So this is what we have done in the previous videos. So all our Jasmine thing and all those things we have did it like that only. So we have took one HTML file, something like specrunner.html file and we have added all the script codes, our application code and the test code, everything in the script source we have added and we have tried it to run it in the browser. So whatever may be the browser it is, so we have run it. So like that we are checking that one, right? So, but we have understood the downside of this one. So what because whenever we are trying to add a JS file again means so we need to, uh, whenever we are, we are trying to create a new test file means we need to add the reference here. So that is the downside. So if you are having thousands of means you need to add here thousands of files like that. So that is a bad behavior. So that is a, that is a disadvantage of this one. So that is the reason. So we need some automated tool. So here is the place where karma comes into the picture. So the first way is <coughs> running the application through the JavaScript through the HTML file. So we add all the references in the HTML file and we'll throw it in the browser so that browser gives you the output. So that is one way we understood. And the other way is, so let's try to open this one. Yeah. And the other method is import in the JavaScript file. So we'll all the JS files we'll import in one JavaScript file and we'll run through the node.js. So we'll write something like node server.js or node index.js like that we'll try to do. So node.js will execute it. So this is something like backend will be coming. So whenever we are trying to do the node testing means so without any use of browser, we will be using this node.js. So this is another method. So we will we will not cover more about this one. So nothing but we will create one index.js file. We will add all the imports there and we will write, we will run that JS file something like through the node command line, node server index.js something like that. So that is another method. <clears throat> if you run the test in the browser, Karma plays a nice role for running the test. So this is the place where the karma comes into the picture. So I told you the disadvantages of running the test in the browser. I have told you, right? We need to add all the references. That is the downside of this one. So for this one, karma plays a important role. So what the karma does it is, it will read all the application code and all your test code. So it will try to read all the application code and test code and it will try to run the test according to that application code. So that is the main role karma plays. Now if you run the karma plays a very nice important role. Karma starts a local web server and opens it in the browser running the test. So karma what it will try to do is it will try to run a small local server web server. So using something like localhost colon 4040 like that it will try to run it and opens it in the browser in that browser that localhost URL, if you provide this URL, it will run all the tests that are available in your application. So that is a karma does, does this. So we understood that karma runs the test. So therefore we can say that karma is a test runner tool. So karma does, oh, karma what it will do, it will not 
to allow us to write the testing testing thing and it will not provide you anything so it will provide you a facility to run the test automatically so there is no need you there is no need for you to add the reference anywhere something like that just you will go on uh, writing the test code and application code you will go on writing there Kar karma take care of that one automatically running the test and all those things karma take care so that is the reason karma is a test runner tool so i already told you right karma starts a small web server serving your app code in the test code so karma what is it it will start a small web server serving your app code in the test code karma also allows us to choose the browser of our choice karma not only runs the uh, runs the test in the browser it will allow us it will allow us which browser i need to choose so which browser we need to open so it will also gives us the choice to open that one and also karma also completely gives us the test results so it will give you all the complete test results that how how many of them has been failed how many of them has passed everything it will give you the test results so other things also karma will give you about the code coverage and all those things we'll try to discuss the about this one going on so but i am trying to tell you about the karma karma supports almost all the javascript frameworks so now not only the karma supports the jasmine so almost all the frameworks karma supports if you want to use the karma in any javascript framework to automate the test running means you can use this automatically so it supports almost all the javascript testing frameworks not javascript framework javascript testing frameworks so if you want to use this karma as a test runner tool means you can use it in any javascript test framework so that is all about the karma so you understood i hope you understood about this karma so let's try to open this one so what is about this one if you try want to open here you can open that karma test runner tool so here you'll be able to see it right so this is the first one so the first one is the website so if you try to open this karma so here the definition itself tells that spectacular test runner for javascript so for javascript if you want to run the tests automatically means we can use this karma so here this is the main website for this karma if you want to try to see is means so here you will be able to see all the who uses the karma so now if you try to see introduction and how it works here you will be able to see that karma essentially a tool which spawns spawns means which opens a web server that executes the source code against the test code for each of the browsers connected the results of the each test against each browser are examined and displayed via command line so everything every test will be run and examined and it will be also displayed via the command line so we'll try to see it so normally browser can be captured either by manually visiting the url where the karma server is listening so this is the url it will try to so the web server it will try to run the web server so the web server provides you the url here it will and auto or automatically by letting karma know which browser to start when karma is run so if you want to karma automatically open the browser also you can let it know that karma to open the browser so it will automatically open the browser and it will run the all the tests and it make it pass okay so karma also watches all the files specified in the configuration file so karma has a configuration file we will try to learn about this configuration file also karma also watches all the files test files and configuration what i can say application code file so whenever any changes occur in our application code automatically immediately it will trigger the test code test runs again so this is how the karma will be available for us so right now our application we are running all the spec runner and all those things here right so whenever we want to whenever we are changing the application code and all those things means so we are refreshing this spec runner.html file so that is the problem we are having so now if you use the karma so karma takes the responsibility of running all these tests and also the application code combinedly so now for us at that uh, so if you use the karma there is no need for us to use this spec runner html file or anything so just automatically you will have a command something like karma start so karma takes the responsibility and it will open the browser and it will automatically show you that what are the tests that has been failed and passed okay so this is what the karma in the next video what we will try to see is we will try to install the karma in our project and we will see how we can set up this karma in your javascript application for making the test pass so hope you understood about this karma if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you